Welcome back to the channel guys. I'd like to start out this video by introducing you my truck. Sounds a little weird. All right, but anyway, last summer I bought a 2005 Chevy 1500 with only about 35,000 miles on it. Let's get started. If you want pointless facts about my truck and what makes it so great, this truck's never been winter driven. This truck's never been winter driven. Never been winter driven. Winter driven. Hmm. This doesn't sound right. Fuck. Definitely supposed to be driven. Okay, so this truck's never been winter driven. The guy that owned it used it as a vacation vehicle, he told me. He only put, brought it out in the summertime whenever they traveled. He got sick and tired, I guess, of leaving it parked in his garage and decided to sell it. I jumped on the opportunity. Uh, perfect timing kind of situation. And I'm really glad I found it because this is the perfect dream truck. Obviously, it's a crew cab. Uh, black which is my favorite color and as you can see a touch of chrome we're gonna fix that because that just doesn't work the trucks already been debadged there's no badging left on the truck um, obviously we've done a handful of mods already to it and we're gonna do a couple more in today's video a couple of things that were done to it that I believe were probably from factory or the original owner had done uh, while he owned it uh, there were drilled and slotted rotors put on the front uh, not long actually before I got the truck Also, he's running Bilstein's shocks all the way around the truck Just little things that were done already and the ride quality on this thing really is nice uh, I guess I would give the credit to those Bilstein shocks, but uh, other than that nothing else has been modified on this truck We're still running stock Chevy rims believe it or not. These were GM rims uh, I believe they were on like the Escalades Denali's things like that of this era That's kind of the walk around on this truck. Let's get started on some of the modifications. We're gonna do a couple of quick mods to it. Uh, nothing too crazy. So getting started, uh, we have this recon uh, antenna we're gonna be installing, as well as this AVS uh, bug deflector. If anyone's curious about all the tires, well, that's my summer set of wheels for my feeder car, and I grabbed some new tires, so we gotta get those put on at some point too. Show you guys what comes in here. So basically, you get the antenna itself. This is by Recon, uh, and then you get the adapters for all the different vehicles. For my truck, all we're going to need is the antenna itself. So the disappointing part about this setup is my antenna needs to thread in down here and the bottom of this antenna this new antenna doesn't fit down into the bezel so let me go grab something real quick I brought home my Milwaukee right angle die grinder with a burr bit in it we're gonna uh, modify this bezel slightly and then we're gonna install this antenna As you can see, I bezeled this out a little bit here, made it a little bigger so we can get our new antenna installed. guys this is installed so uh, this looks really great with the black low profile look on the truck uh, also thanks to Milwaukee 90 degree die grinder to date this is one of my favorite tools uh, just being able to get out here in a parking lot and do a mod like this without needing an air hose is just really great so I've really enjoyed this tool so far all right next up we have this bug deflector
So there's actually already installed uh, factory inserts in the bottom of the hood. So we're gonna see if we can get our screws to uh, thread right into those versus the plastic ones that they send with. This should work without putting the plastic grommets. We should be able to use these steel grommets they have in there. So we're gonna head and go ahead and get this put up there. Before we finish tightening those, we'll get them all started in here. All right, guys, there it is. So it's all on there. This is the ABS Bug Shield 2, I believe they call it. Um, it's got a real nice profile on this hood, uh, as well as, um, you know, my main reason for installing it is to provide uh, protection for the windshield and the hood from bugs, uh, but mostly stones and things thrown up on the highway. Uh, you know, I, I put on these ABS uh, window rain guards up here uh, last week and uh, they turned out real nice they're the in-track style uh, so they're not out on your paint they don't look uh, you know kind of cheap like that so real nice fit uh, work really well so far and uh, just another great AVS product here um, I've bought these products over the years uh, I know there's other brands out there but I've really liked the AVS brand guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you would go follow me at Christian w.fire on instagram i'm going to link that link down in the description and if you want to follow along on instagram with the truck build itself get a little bit more in the moment uh visuals of what's going on with it uh go ahead and follow the midnight mistress on instagram as well i'll link that down in the description other than that please subscribe to the channel give this video a like and hit that notification bell if you wouldn't mind peace